Hello. So the purpose of this video is just to show you some things about the Magpie Lab if you can't get Eclipse to run on your home computer and show you what I would like you to turn in. So you hopefully should have this packet or at least be able to view a PDF of it. It's on Google Classroom if you need it. You can read through this intro. And this activity one is just something that you are doing on the web. So do activity one, just use the internet for that. So activity two is where I need to show you some stuff. It says in this activity, you will work with the Magpie class, a simple imp implementation of a chat bot. You will see how it works with some key or some keywords and add keywords of your own. So obviously you can't do step one. So here's my Magpie stuff. I've made it in Eclipse already. And I've got the Magpie runner and I've got magpie.java file, which you should be able to view through Google Classroom, hopefully. You can open it as a Word file and it should open up. Um, get to know the Magpie class by running the Magpie runner, which is essentially the driver. So if you want to look at really quick what the Magpie runner looks like, it looks like a driver. You've seen that line before. There's some stuff you don't know. I'm reading in from a file. In.next line means I'm reading in a whole line of code instead of just a word, instead of just in.next. Nothing big there. Um, but we're going to run this for a second and show you what else it asks to do. Um, how does the Magpie respond to my mother and I talked last night? So let me show you that. When I put, press play here, it says, hello, let's talk. If I say my mother and I talked last night, it says, tell me more about your family. So that's that one. If I say, I said no, it says, why so negative? If I say the weather is nice, it just says, hmm. And then if I say, do you know my brother? It says, why so negative again? Okay. So, alter the code. Test your code after each step to make sure if it functions properly. You obviously can't test it, but you should be able to alter it. So these things where it says have it respond to tell me more about your pets, what I need you to do is look at the Magpie Java file, which would look something like this. Here's where it says um, have it respond to tell me more about your pets when the statement would be a word like dog or cat. Look in this get response method and see if you can figure out how it's answering the way it is. And even though you can't type in Eclipse, you should be able to type in a Word file. So I'm going to send you a Magpie Word file that you can type in. And just do your best typing the code. I'm not looking for anything to be perfect. I'm just looking to see if you've got the general idea. So type it in Word as you would normally in Eclipse. And you can do pretty much all of these steps in that way. So just alter the code, the word file I give you by adding some code. Now when you get to section three, improving the magpie class, it says single words are interesting, but better chat box looks for group of words and use them to create a response. Statements like I like cats or I like math class and I like Spain all start with I like something. The response could be what do you like about that something? So let me show you what the Magpie program does when you run this. Run your Magpie program and see how it responds to the following questions. So my first question, what was it? I want to build a robot. So if I write that, I want to build a robot. It says, interesting, tell me more. It says, I want to understand French. It says, you don't say. If I do, I like kale, it says, interesting, tell me more again. And I need to pause this for a second. Okay, sorry. And the last one it said for you to check was, I like computer science. And just says, you don't say. So essentially, with I wants and I likes right now, it's just giving you a random response because we haven't coded it to respond to those things. So what this section wants you to do is to alter that code again 
have it respond to I want anything statements with why do you want that stuff. In doing this, you need to look, be careful about where you place the check. You need to look for these keywords before any others. Because like if you said, I like my mom or something, then it would say something about your family. We need this to be the first thing it checks. So what I mean by that is you look at your magpie, if else statements, check that up here. Those ones. Okay. Um, what else? Read through the hints there. This you should be able to do as well just by typing in Word. Again, I, don't, I know you won't know if your code is perfect, but I just am looking to see if you've got the right idea. All right, so now obviously you can't submit this lab at the end because you can't run the Magpie thing yourself. But what I would like you to do before Friday is to submit a Word file of your altered code, and then I can see if you're on the right track. Any questions? Let me know. Thanks.